In problem 8, we are looking to the sandstone unit that has cross bedding structures. Um, as you see, we have the attitude of the bedding and we have polycurrent direction on the tilted unit. And the question is asking the actual polycurrent direction. So as you know, uh, cross bedding structures are sedimentary structures, right? So they look like um, this. Right, and when you have these kind of sedimentary structures, uh, they can show you the poly current direction. Actually, the current is like this. So, uh, what we have in this question, uh, let's say this is the Earth's surface, and we have the unit is dipping towards southwest, and there are some uh, cross bedding structures in this unit. And the question is uh, asking to obtain the actual polycurrent. So what you need to do, you need to uh, untilt the sedimentary unit and then find the uh, original polycurrent direction. For doing that, let's go to the stir unit and see how we can do this. Let's first plot the uh, sandstone bit. The strike is 320, all right, this is 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, and is dipping towards southwest, okay, 57 degrees. So I need to place the bed along the north-south line of the stair unit and then count from southwest 57 degrees so 10 20 30 40 50 that's 57 so let's trace the bed okay this is the bedding and then we have another element which is the paleo current direction of 90 right so the palio current okay is a linear feature right is on top of the planar okay it's inside the plane so we need to show on the plane right and is going towards west so this is the north so the palio current palio current direction it has to be on the plane which is facing towards east, right? So let's put the dot with the arrow like that. That shows the paleo current, right? That goes towards 90 degrees. So uh, the question is asking to uh, pre tilted orientation of the paleo current, right? So we know that for on tilting the plane, we need the pole of the plane and we need to push the pole of the plane to the center of the stair unit. Let's do that. Um, so we put the plane along the north-south uh, great circle and then we need to count 90 degrees from the plane and that would be the pole or you can count 57 from the center, right? So I'm gonna do that 10 20 30 40 50 and that's 57 and that's the pole, right? And what we're gonna do is we need to push the pole To the center and that is 57 degrees, right? So if we want to untilt the paleo current, okay, and uh, we need to push that one 57 degrees towards the same direction along the small circle, right? So I'm going to draw the trace, okay, something like that, right? So I need to push that direction 57 degrees, right? So if you count, you're gonna end up to the primitive circle right here right because the distance of 
any point along this line to the primitive circle is 57. You can actually count it if you want. All right, so we have this. Uh, one thing that is important, as you see, always paleocurrent, okay, or any linear feature on the plane will point to the center of the step unit, right? And that is the case for the untilted uh, paleocurrent as well, right? Take your ruler and place it on the dot and the center of the stereo unit and then draw the line all right with the arrow so that's the corrected paleo current right and if you want to read the orientation so you bring back the vellum paper to the original stage so the paleo current indeed it's going that direction right it's going like that right so uh, we need to give the trend right uh, of the poly current it has no plunge because it's untilted and it always the uh, flow is on a flat horizon right uh, so we need to put a sign on the other end right somewhere here right still is going like that right and this orientation of the paleo current with respect to the north east right we can we can actually read the trend right is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 74 right north 74 degrees east this is the paleo direction of the uh, of the current um, on the untilted plane. Let's write it here again. It's north seventy four east.